Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and today's video is just a quick little sneak preview towards some of the medals that just came out in the JP version of the game, um, which pretty much as of lately, the last like month or two or so, we've pretty much been getting almost exactly the same medals as JP now. Uh, and even just quite recently with the whole Halloween Sora Prime medal, it's looking like we'll still get the same medals as JP, even if they fall under a different uh, title name or an artwork and such. Okay, but at the very least, the medals will be the exact same. Um, but at the very least, just to show you guys, in JP, they did release a new medal called Prime, Neku, and Joshua. And I don't really have to ex explain the ability too much because the ability is literally the exact same thing as Prime Halloween Sora. The only main difference between the two medals though is the fact that Prime Neku and Joshua actually last for three turns compared to the fact that Prime Halloween Sora only lasts for one turn. That can actually be somewhat of a significant difference because then what this means is that even if you don't use this medal in PvP, uh, in case you don't know, any medal that says it's like it ignores attributes, which is what this medal does. It's, it's literally an exact, it's just a speed version of Halloween Sora, okay? In case you aren't aware, any medal that ignores attributes uh, doesn't, isn't very good in PvP just because of the fact that, well, players in PvP don't have attributes. So that part of the ability is completely useless. Um, so at least in terms of PvP, the only thing worth having about this is the fact that the 120% guilt buff would last for three turns. Uh, but because of the fact that it's multiplier, even at seven star is a 25.05, uh, not taking the 120% into account. It's a very low multiplier. And um, so at the very least, as you start going up towards the rankings, it's not a medal you would like to start seeing, you would like to see in PvP just because its multiplier is kind of low. It's something you could use in other stuff though, where even if you put it in the middle of the Keyblade or something, or even towards the end of the Keyblade, because of the fact that the 120% lasts for three turns, what it means is that after your second turn comes around, you will then have the 120% carry on towards the beginning metals of your Keyblade as well, which will help you let you do more damage overall. So in terms of raw ability, it is straight up better than the Prime Halloween Sora that we currently have right now on Global. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much the exact same thing as Prime Halloween Sora, just a speed version. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little sneak peek towards the metal that just came out of JP. By all means, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are about the metal in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kinemartini Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.